Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and today I'm going to show you how to wire a Google Nest doorbell battery to a Honeywell Home Series 9 wired doorbell chime. Here I have my doorbell transformer on the left, Honeywell doorbell chime in the middle, and Google Video doorbell on the right. I'm going to remove the wiring panel at the back of the chime so you can see how it is wired up. Oops, it looks like one of the release tabs has broken off, but I should be able to glue that back on later. If you only have one doorbell, like I do, you should be able to use either slot A1 or B1. However, I found that my A1 slot doesn't work properly, so I'll be using B1 instead. The other two terminals you'll need are AC1 and AC2. One side of my transformer, which is 16V 15VA, will be hooked up to the AC1 terminal. That's the white wire on the left. And on the other side of the transformer, there are two red wires. One of these goes to the AC2 terminal. So just remember that AC1 and AC2 are the ones that connect to the transformer. The second red wire on the transformer goes to one of the leads on the doorbell camera. It doesn't matter which side it goes to. The second white wire on the doorbell goes to the B1 terminal. And again, if you have a fully functioning panel, you should be able to use A1 or B1. Or if you have two doorbells, one would use A1 and the other B1. And just confirming that there are no batteries in the chime since it'll be fully powered off the transformer. Now, both the chime and video doorbell should be powered by the transformer. So when I press the doorbell button, the chime will activate and play the selected tone twice. I can also change the tone, and here's what that sounds like. If you're having issues with slow or incomplete charging of your video doorbell, I recommend upgrading your transformer to 24V 30VA. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put links to the products that I used in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.